Hi guys, it's Catherine and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be trying out the Percy Pig collection from M&S. I would like to say before we get onto this video though that I didn't get everything from the collection. Um, I just got the things that I saw and then when I got home I remember that there's other things like the sauce, the Percy Pig sauce, they had the Percy Pig pancakes, they have Percy Pig ice cream I believe. So yeah, it was quite disappointing when I got home and remembered there's other things in the collection as well. And I didn't get all the Percy Pigs either, like the packet sweets, I didn't get all of them because I would be getting very fat if I did. We'll just put it like that. So I got a few pieces. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things to try from the collection. Okay, so first I feel like we need to start with the drink. So we have got here the Percy Pig. How do you even say that? Fizzy Pop, but it's spelled P-H. Fizzy Pop, yeah. So I've got my glass. Oh my gosh. It smells like a slushy. And I just know, just by this drink, just by smelling, smelling this drink, I know I'm gonna have a sugar overload from this video. But that's okay. Yeah, it smells like a slushy. Like it's just got that slushy, it's just got that slushy smell basically. You know when you think of a slushy and you just get that smell. You either get the smell of water and ice or you get like a smell of artificial flavoring. And that's what this is. <laughs> But yeah, let's try it. That's nice, but you can taste the sugar in it. Oh, okay, so it's carbonated spring water with raspberry juice and white grape juice. Okay, I'm getting the I'm getting those flavors, but it's really it's quite. It's quite sugary though, you can like taste the sugar in it. But I must admit that is nice. That's really nice. I'm putting some more in for the rest of the video. <laughs> oh my god, okay, so um, let's give these things a rating. So like, what would I rate this drink? I'd rate this an eight. I'm gonna give this an eight. I don't wanna, mm, I say give it an eight, but then like there isn't anything that I would want to do to it. But it's a little bit sugary. Like you can just taste the sugar as I've already said. So that's why I'm gonna give it an eight. Anyway, the next thing we're going to move on to are, we're going to have to start with the OG Percy Pigs. Well, I guess these aren't the OG Percy Pigs because these are the vegetarian ones. But like, they, they used to be not vegetarian, which is kind of sad. Um, but yeah, these are the OG Percy Pigs. And we all know what these taste like, so if you don't, what are you doing? You need to go try your Percy Pigs. You need to go try some Percy Pigs. That's Ray. Ray said that she, I was talking to Ray about this and she said that she hasn't tried Percy Pigs before. I'm pretty sure she said that. And I told her to go to M&S and go buy some Percy Pigs because she's missing out. Yummy, as always. The ones I had before, I must have had the veggie Percy Pigs. Oh, like the vegan ones. Because these are a lot harder. Well, not harder, but these are more, these are basically harder than the veggie ones. Because like the veggie ones, which are vegan, I'm pretty sure, they're more soft and they get stuck in your teeth more. Well, as I say from one bite, but I guess we'll find out when we eat the rest of them, won't we? I give these a 10 out of 10, just because they're so yummy. Like you just can't not have them. What did I, did I rate them? Sorry, I was in heaven whilst eating these, so I've forgotten if I rated them. If I didn't, I'm giving them a 10 out of 10. I'm pretty sure I did. I give these a 10 out of 10. The next ones I picked up are the Percy Pig Party Time. They've got many different sorts of like Percy Pigs now in collections. So this is the Party Time, but you could have like um, Percy Pig goes on safari, Percy Pig and his pals, Percy Pig and Fizzy Chews, which I've got those two. But like there was other ones as well. Can't really remember all of them, but this one, is the Percy Pig pastime. Oh, these smell a lot, like they smell like they've got artificial coloring and flavors in them. Look at them. Of course they've got artificial coloring in them, but look how cute that is. Um, okay. I, sp I feel like they taste like something I've had before, but I can't put my name, like I can't put a name to it. 
They kind of taste like they've got like rose in or something, like rose water. Mm, I don't know. I can't put a name to it, but they're really nice as well. They've kind of got like um like a soapy flavour to it. But like saying that, that sounds really weird. It's kind of like, I guess it's rose water. Like they, they have like a rose water taste to it, I think. If that's rose water, then I think. But then if it's not, then don't hold my word to it. Yeah, they've got like a really nice like, um it says fruit juice. But I would say it's more of like a flower juice. <laughs> Like, I don't know. I just get rose water vibes from that. But they're really nice, actually. They're kind of... They kind of taste more natural. But you just can tell that they're a lot less natural type of thing. I would give them a 10, actually, because they're really yummy. Okay, next we're going to move on to the Purse Pig Tarts. These say, pastry with a layer of fruity filling, Purse Pig flavoured sponge and pig fondant icing. Mmm... And finished with a Percy Pig sweet. These look really yummy. They look quite sickly as well. <laughs> I think that's just gonna that's that's going to become like the main word for this video. So this is what it looks like. How cute is that? That's I could see this is very appealing to children. It's got a little bit of a soggy. Was that English? It's got a little bit of a soggy bottom. Oh. Um. Ugh. Oh. That is, that is just too sweet. Oh, I've got literal chills. No, that is just too sweet. There's too much sugar in that. Oh, I think I'm getting a sugar rush. It's gone quite cold, you know? Right, so my rating for the Purse Pig Tart is, let me think about this. It's really sugary and it's just like, there's too much sugar going on. I mean, the pastry bit, that looks really appetizing. I think the problem is, is that you've you've got the jam like the purse pig jam or sauce right at the bottom there and then you've got like a soft filling like kind of like a cake which i don't quite understand that bit it's just too much sweetness going on and don't get me wrong i do love a bit of sweetness sweet things are just yumming but this is too sweet so i'd probably rate this like a two or a three because there's just too many flavors going on there's too much too much sugar going on in my mouth oh gosh I, I do think i'm getting some kind of sugar rush you know right the next thing we are going to try are poster pigs and his pal so this is just poster pig and his fellow pals it's like we've got a sheep we've got a cow so we've got percy pig himself cow i wonder what the cow is called Fenelope. we'll call him Fenelope. Or she, could be a she. And um, we've got a sheep. And we'll call the sheep Shirley. Okay, back to the purse pig and his pals. Before I got rudely interrupted by my parents. And very nicely interrupted by Regan. Let's try, um, let's try the cow first. The cow? Mmm! You know what a purse pig tastes like, so I'll give you mm -hmm. a party time purse pig. Okay. And rate it out of 10 for me. So I've just had the um, cow one, and it tastes like Coca-Cola. Had like a Coke type, type, type of flavour to it, which I'd say was quite nice actually. It's not too intense though. But you can taste it, but it's not too intense. I wouldn't say I prefer that over the party time or the original ones. So I'm gonna give that a seven. Now I've got the sheep. Orangey. Mmm. I don't know. I can't really tell what flavour it is, but. Tangerine. Yeah, kind of like a tangerine. I think I would give that one like a six or a seven as well. Oh, fruity. I wasn't expecting it to be fruity. No, but those are like fruity. So the sheep are fruity, purse pigs are the normal purse pigs. Oh, I do and the cows are coke flavoured okay next i'm going to try purse pig fizzy chews 
but once again it's spelled f, f no ph now these look like little baby percy pigs okay so you get a white one you get like a greeny blue one and you get a red well no pink one it kind of looks purple on camera but yeah they're like baby pigs they kind of look like teddy bears as well though that is quite nice they've got like a fizzy fizzy kind of taste to it and that tastes like something that's wrong hey maybe it's like an orange flavor <laughs> do you think that's nice like that no no it's bacon. too it's ba too bacon is like soggy yeah and then it's like really sweet as and well it's just sweet 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 this and sweet it's, really sweet on top it's sweetness overload isn't it Ooh. Well, it's not even my sweetness no no, no. Sorry, Tom Marks and Spencer, sorry. The cake on its own might be okay, but we're having, having, the, having the fizzy pig on top really doesn't help it. Yeah. So the fizzy chews, they're all different flavours, so there's three different flavours. They're kind of like the mixed fruits and then like original Percy Pig type of flavour and then the white one was... Oh no, was that the mixed fruit one? And then this one was... I can't even remember. I would say it's nice because I like sour things so it's kind of got like a sour first bit because it's fizzy and then you get like the sweetness so I'm going to give them a seven okay so next we've got these Percy Pig Love Cupcakes so you get two in a packet and this is what they look like they look quite delicious but quite sickly at the same time and it's got like little love heart decorations on the side of there I think this the sponge is nice the sponge is normal but the frosting on top is quite sweet and it's got, I don't know, it's got some kind of Percy Pig flavour to it and then it's just got the Percy Pig on top so I think that's what is the Percy Pig type of thing. Um, it's a bit bright pink isn't it? I'm going to try it then. It's screaming artificial colours at me. Oh, all in one. <laughs> no meshing. Hmm. Hmm, not bad sponge. I don't think I could eat a whole one of these. No, I think it's too... The ice is too sickly. Oh! The little parts that are... Why didn't you warn me about that? I've just done my filling in. Okay, they should come with a warning not to bite into the little red hearts. <laughs> Otherwise you're going to crack your tuff on it. Oh, all in one like that as well. That's very sickly. <laughs> yes. It's a little uh, bit too sickly, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that really is. There's no way I could eat a whole cake. No, neither. Four. Okay. Sorry, harsh I know. Yeah. It's fine, I'll, I'll give it like a five. Really? Yeah. Okay. So dad gives the cake four, I give the cake five. Just because it's so sickly. Like I, I don't think anyone in the family could eat the whole cake. Um, so guys, that is the end of this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Overall, I would say that the party time party pigs and the normal Percy Pigs and the drink, the Percy Pig fizzy fizzy pop was the nicest things. Um but yeah maybe head down to your local MS and try them out because I don't know I wouldn't say get the tart so because uh, nah unless you want to go there. But yeah that's the end of this video i really do hope you enjoyed it if you would like to subscribe please click here if you don't see another one of my videos please click there thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next sunday at 6 p.m bye